What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm just gonna show you some of the books that I bought today, just show you a normal day. Didn't really buy that many books today or even yesterday for that matter, but let's dive into my spreadsheet and I'll show you what I bought. All right, so we're over here on the Joji 2023 spreadsheet. Link in the description for the video to show you how to set up the spreadsheet if you're interested in it. This is how I track all my book purchases, but you can see here are the tags, 8-3, today's August 3rd. I didn't buy that many books, only about eight books today, which is not that much. You can even see on, on August 2nd, only about two books. So the last couple days have been really busy. I haven't really been able to buy much books. You can see right now it's 11 25 p.m. This is kind of the time I would normally buy books, but let's take a deep dive in the silver books I bought and I'll show you what I think I can sell for. All right, so this first book that I picked up is called The Secret of the Golden Flower. You can see it over here, really cool cover, very niche. This came out in 1962. So, you no. Know, I don't only just buy textbooks, I buy a lot of really old books as well that show a lot of historical value of Keepa. But what we can see here is that I bought this for $7.90. I go in and open up order. You can see I bought this for $3.92 plus shipping from good old Glenda booksellers. I basically lose all the dough for $7.90, but I use rewards points to buy this book. I love using rewards points. Basically, I use the Amazon Prime Visa signature. Another video on that if you're interested. But basically, I was able to pick up this book for zero bucks. You can see that right now, this book is buy boxing for $35. Buy boxing just means that this box here on the Amazon webpage is where a customer would come to this product and decide if they want to buy it. A lot of people just click this add a cart button and they don't necessarily come here and look or click this six used from $34 offer. So buy box is at about 35 bucks. But if we go down to the keeper chart, one thing that you actually notice is that uh, the lowest used price of this book, which is indicated by this black light, is actually very choppy. It's not very consistent at all like a lot of books are, which means that this is a book that kind of just is, you know, fluctuates in value all the time. You can see that this book has been as low as $24. It's been as high as 74. It's also been out of stock. So when you don't see that black use line consistent from one point from one end point to the other, that means hey nobody was in stock during that time. So it didn't mean been out of stock for quite a, a long time. If we look at the last 2,600 days, kind of the same story is shown, and that makes sense, right? This book came out, I believe, in 1970 or no, 1962. This book is old. This book is, has been out for quite a long time, and yeah, this book is definitely varied in price. Now, what I like to see is back in 2020. We do see that this book, you know, has sales ring drops as high as 40 bucks, has sales ring drops in the $20 range, but more recently actually has some sales ring drops pretty high as well. So we can see, looks like we have a sales ring drop here for about 50 bucks. We have one a little lower at 16. Actually, that's when I started tracking it with this little feature up here called the track product feature. But yeah, here's a sales ring drop on this book right at $49.99. Here's like an immediate sales ring drop at 22 bucks. So I knew that I think you have a copy of this book for about $8 was a no brainer. So the reason why I was alerted to this is because somebody came on a listing, led the bookseller, came on listing at $7.90 with that, you know, that being all in chip loop pudding. I thought, hey, this is a no brainer. This is a book that most recently, only a couple days ago, sold for about 36 bucks. And potentially a couple copies could have sold because you actually see how the offer count goes from eight to seven, now to six. So that could actually be two sales and not just one sale that sells right crowd but yeah easy flip i think this will easily sell for 39.99 and if it does we'll make 17 dollars profit and again there are some sales ring drops historically a little bit higher than that for example back here in january uh, in february at the beginning of this year we actually see one sales ring drop here at 75 so potentially this book can sell to 39.99 in be cool which is my root pricer I think I'm going to set my min at $39.99. I think that's a good price. Uh, I don't really want to go below that. I'll probably set my max price next by $75, maybe like $55, something like that. And if it does sell for $55, then you know, that would be a total of a $29 profit. And by the way, remember, I bought this for $0 using your rewards coin. So it actually would be more than that. So a cool little range here, a great little niche book to pick up. Super old, and these books do really well. All right, so the next book we picked up is called The 10 Things I Hate About You. Interesting book. This came out in 1999, another very niche old book. So again, I don't only sell textbooks. I sell a lot of really older niche books that people want, right? And the only reason why I know people want them is I look at Keepa, look at what price the sales rank has been dropping at over the last you know, five years, 10 years, 15 years plus. You can see that the buy box of this book is a little bit cheaper. It's $15.98. And if we scroll down to the Keepa chart, what we can see is that we have had the, the last two recent sales right around like the... 17 to 20 dollar range but before that there's a couple of sales rank drops one here at 55 one there at 63 and then we had a maybe one sales rank drop there at 86 as well again this is a book that was out of stock for a really long time literally there was like a, the first three months out of this year nobody was selling this this book was nowhere to be seen on amazon and then you can see back here august september the previous year a lot of sales rank drops around 25 bucks so again this is a book that i'm seeing is selling for significantly more than i'm buying for this now one thing that is interesting interesting is you do see this used offer count increasing, which a lot of times is a red flag. If you see the number of used offers increase substantially, that's not normally a good sign. And for a case like this, I'd want to 
expand the data to kind of see what was the book selling for at a similar offer count in the past. And so when we do that, we can actually see that at a, its highest offer count, right around 30, 33, 32, looks like this book was listed right around four or five bucks. So clearly didn't have a bunch of value, but since really 2020, which was COVID, you can actually see that this book definitely started inflating in price. And when this book did become available on Amazon for really cheap, it was literally sold almost instantaneously. Like, like for example, like this book came on the list at 1238, boom, sales ring drop. Saw, you know, offer count goes from one to zero. So this is a book that definitely a lot of petite people are, are wanting to buy. I think this should be a pretty easy flip even though the offer count is starting to creep up i still think this should this should be fine so i'm gonna probably try to sell this right around like 35 bucks and if i do and make about a 13 dollar profit and right on my reprice would go as high as like 45 so maybe min price 35 max price 45 all right this next book we picked up is the halloween 2 paperback this came out in 1981 so another book that's over 40 years old and look at that cover that looks pretty cool uh one thing you'll notice is that the buy box is about 51 dollars which is actually only four dollars more expensive than the book that i bought but again let's scroll down to keep trying to figure out why i would buy that right so what's really interesting about this book is you can see that it has gone undergone a very severe repricing war over the last you know four or five days so on july 23rd if you came to this listing the cheapest price available was about 150 bucks and you can see there's been like a massive repricing war that's the staircase down where a couple of sellers have very very aggressive reprices bringing their price of this book down and you can see that it finally hit my track here on august 2nd so i was tracking this book for about 55 it got down about 48 and is actually now down about 46 22 so i picked up a couple copies and the reason for that is while this book doesn't sell a ton there are definite sales ring drops and those sales ring drops like the last two are about right around 140 bucks if we look back a little bit uh, later into the previous year, it looks like we have a number of sales rank drops at 95, another one there at 140, one here at 50, a little bit cheaper, and then maybe one there at 140. But if we expand the last 3,600 days, this is again a book that has held very consistent value. It looks like basically it bottoms out right around like 60 to $70. It's kind of its lowest price over the last four or five years. And you can see that there have been times in the past where this has sold even up to 190. So I felt like this is a book that's very niche, that's going to hold value. Like I don't see this book ever really getting below 30 or 40 dollars like you know i always try to think worst case scenario is what i'm buying actually an asset does it inherently hold the value and in this case i think this is a book that's pretty safe so i actually bought two copies of this i i thought this could potentially be a seasonal book like people would buy it for halloween but i don't really see that much of an increase in sales looking back at the past historical data so this is a book that you know, i'm gonna buy for 46 i'm probably not even gonna try to sell for 150 because i bought two copies i do want to move it and do want to make profit so what i'll probably do is set my min price right around like 100 bucks I'd be a $31 profit. I'll probably sell my max price like at 115. So again, I am very motivated to sell my books, right? It's like, I don't want my books to sit all day. So even though potentially this book could sell to 180 or potentially could sell for 150, it's a slow moving book. And one way you can get a slow moving book to move faster is offer it at a much better price to somebody who wants the book. So customer A might be willing to pay 150 for it. Customer B might only be willing to pay 110 for it. But if I list it at 150, then customer B is not buying it. But if I have the book a little bit cheaper, there's more people could be interested in it because, you know, it's just everyone's on a budget. It's cost effective for people. And it's a no brainer, right? All right. The last book that we're going to look at is actually a textbook. This is a conversation, uh, a conservation science book. You can see here that I bought this today, August 2nd, or actually, yeah, today, August 2nd. And I bought uh, four copies for $14.70. And it's like going a little bit deeper, right? When I, when I say go a little bit deeper, I mean buy more than just one copy of a book. Generally, my advice for new sellers is probably stick to one to two copies of a book because there are literally so many books out there that you could run out of money just buying quantity one of a great deal. So if you watched my video recently on like one of some of my worst book buys, a lot of them have been going way Way, way way too deep i'm talking 10 plus copies of a book and when it flops it goes bad when it does well then that's great but if it flops it does really bad so i feel comfortable picking up four copies of this book let's see why so i was basically able to pick them up for 14 dollars and 70 cents and if we come down the cuba chart you can see that recently this you know underwent a small reprice and warmer for about 60 bucks and is now right around like 10 dollars for shipping you also see that new price coming down as well it might have been a factor right this went from 117 down to 40 but what's actually really interesting about this new seller is that they are it's actually just one seller 40 dollars plus four dollars shipping they're also a new seller so it's possible that that book's not even in new condition it could be someone who found that thrift store is listing in new condition because they're new so hopefully that's not the case but what you do see is that the buy box for this book in used condition is more than a new copy is and that just shows you the importance of making sure that you have a track record with amazon and that you actually have great feedback so that amazon prefers you to sell it right in this case amazon is willing to give the buy box 
to a used seller for more money than you can buy the book from a new seller, which is pretty interesting. But let's go down to the Keepa chart and let's figure out why I want to buy this. Well, pretty simple. This is a book that has shown a repeated history of going down in value and then back up in value during textbook season. So one thing that you'll notice is that in this previous January, February, March, you can see that specifically in March, the sales rank of this book got really well, got really good, but we had multiple sales rank drops above 60, even above $90 there. If we go back to the previous textbook season, August, September, you notice that this book actually started really selling well. You can even see the offer count, I'll start at 32 and kind of drag all the way down here, right about six. And once they hit about five or six, then all of a sudden prices shot up. Looks like we had a couple sales over the $100 mark. So. One of the reasons why I felt so confident in buying, you know, multiple copies is that this pattern of being really low in price and going up has kind of been very consistent in its past. Like if we look at January 2022 and August 2022, you can see the same thing happened here, right? We're at a higher offer count around 20, got down to about four, and we can see the price inflated, multiple sales, and you know, same thing happening. Let's go to uh, August September. Same thing happening where we have offer count go down, we have those books sell, and then we have some sales up there. So yeah, this is a book that. I feel pretty confident like I'm buying a book for $14, especially a textbook. I mean, it's really hard to, to get a book cheaper than that. Like really like the bare bones cheap as you can get a textbook for is like eight bucks, nine bucks. And you probably have to buy it on eBay and you could buy it on Amazon as well. But I feel like the risk for this book is really low. I have the potential of selling just one copy and making pretty much all my money back, potentially selling two copies and making profit on it already. So yeah, I didn't go too deep. I could have bought, I think there's two or three more good copies, but you know, uh, I'm not going to go too deep on this uh, because this perform like that in the past doesn't guarantee it's going to perform like that in the future. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed just kind of the normal purchasing that I do. Again, I only bought eight books today, which is not a lot. These are all found using Keep Alerts with the Keep Attract product feature and um, tons of other ways to source books just didn't have much time today. I want to make sure I film this video for you all, but that's all I got for you. If you have any suggestions or future videos, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, like the video, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.